Hey guys, Kevin Martin here with Zoopin.com. We have a major problem in this country. We have people in Washington, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, that have zero problems sending our boys and girls over into harm's way. Recently, Afghanistan, Iraq, of course, but all throughout the history of the country, especially since Vietnam, we've had so many conflicts, Korea, World War II, where we've sent our boys and girls overseas and we've allowed them to be murdered, maimed, and basically lose their souls in many cases because the stress of it, having to kill another human being, sanctioned by the government or not, it's not, it's not a natural thing. It's not, and then they have to come back into society. It's just not possible without the help of psychiatrists and all the other proper mental health care financial care cause having to come home having their jobs gone cause we've, it's been, we've been in Iraq and Afghanistan about ten, over 10 years now so how many jobs in this country have been lost since then there are not enough jobs for everybody and then the stress of that for our soldiers coming home their families have already been struggling no wonder why a lot of them have killed themselves. And it's very sad. It's totally unnecessary. We have the money. We have the resources. We have the people to help. 22 veterans commit suicide each day. 1,892 have taken his or her own life in 2014. Let's save our boys and girls. This info comes from the IAVA.org. The Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Our boys and girls are broken. A lot of them. It's our responsibility. Don't care if you support the war. We're against it. It's our responsibility to take care of our own people. Do what's right. Call your congressmen, senators, everybody you damn, damn well can. And get these people the help they need. This is just the start of a long fight from Zufin, all the friends and family that we're going to fight to help get our troops, our veterans, the help that they need. Enough of this crap.